Hey, what's going on? My name is Anthony Gray. Welcome to another edition of Grayscale. Um, I'm on a different camera today, so that's why you see the bottom of my chin. All right, and we'll move right along. We're going to try one of those crazy looking abstract backgrounds again. All right, um, I'm going to make a mess because I have to saturate it pretty good with water. All right, this is 11 by 15 watercolor paper. And I'm just going to get to the spraying. It's going to drip, make a mess. For the simple reason that uh, I don't have, well, I have it on a vertical plane. So I'm going to take some Higgins ink. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's not a focus. It's a manual thing. So, but it's Higgins ink. Okay. And this is brown, actually. And we're just going to let it trail down like this. See the little spider webby effect it's going to do? Okay. The more water you put on it, the more it'll trail down. Okay. So basically going to do something like that. And just let it keep flowing. So what's happening is the water I'm putting below it is helping it to do the little flowing thing all right I'm gonna let it go just like that so whatever it does on this side of the paper it does okay and while it's doing that I'm gonna take some black and do pretty much the same thing but on the other side and we're gonna see what happens with that so I'll saturate it once again and the same thing on the same corner or on the opposite corner do the same thing but with black we have it bleed in here a little bit much like that and while it's doing it <coughs> spray just on the bottom let it travel along let's see what happens now we got some moisture on the bottom edge and I can just wipe that up a little bit even if you wipe it off on the paper there's still a lot of fluid for it to gather and still travel along so it's all good maybe a little more in there Just getting the puddles up. Switch the paper around a little bit. Now it's still pretty wet. And while it's wet, I'm gonna do something else. Let's get some rubbing alcohol. Let's see what that does. Let's go on the other side here. I think it might be too dry on this side. Nope, there it goes it start to spread a little bit you see all the interesting designs and whatnot what's happening with it like that forgive my head let's show you how simple it is Still pulling up the rest of the stuff here on the bottom. Using the same little tissue here. Just soaking it up a little. Now, I don't know if you can hear it through my microphone, but I got my little portable heater running. So, I um, also took an old card, like a credit card, and I pressed the tape on the edge where the paper meets the tape try to prevent some of the uh, bleeding through we'll see if it works or not don't know yet okay while well, we got this pattern thing happening all right I'll let it dry a little bit then I'm gonna get some um, acrylic paint 
water it down a bit believe it or not even though it looks still it's still moving around and it's going to, it's going to continue to do so until it fully dries all right so now that we got this happening let's take some of this, this chalk paint acrylic it's not as thick as um, the, the Grumbarker paint but it is thicker than the craft store stuff. what I'm gonna do what? beforehand actually I was gonna spray the paper I'm not gonna spray the paper I'll just spray the my little uh, lid here keep the paint loosened up a bit and I don't have to necessarily be too pretty with this I'll just spray it on the paper, spray it on the, because I don't want it to necessarily dry yet. I'll keep it pretty loose. I know you guys are probably thinking he lost his mind, but I didn't. You'll see. Get it pretty loosened here, just like that. Okay. And then I'll take some wrapping paper, just regular wrapping paper, and I'll do one of these numbers with it. Just like so. Now, in the event that I might not have enough paper, like what I'm doing now, <coughs> I'll just grab some more, rip off a piece, and I'll plop some right in here. I'll take that little corner, I'll plop some on the corner right here. As long as it's wet and you know where to stick, you're pretty good. It's the wrinkles and the paper that's gonna make the difference. Okay, all right. We're gonna keep it like that. We're gonna let it dry and I'll come back and hopefully you'll see the pattern that I make just by making this uh, mess, okay? And then we'll work on from there. Okay, so I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm back. I had to put my specs on. Uh, let's see what happens here. Fully should be dry. Or at least dry ish. And we'll slowly peel it off. See what we got going on. Take it off from the corners. Slowly take it off. Okay, yeah. There you go. You guys see that? If not, let's zoom in a little bit. And we'll move it around a tad. Uh, forgive me wiggling this thing uh, around, but you guys can see the texture, the patterns. Okay. See all that happening up there? Okay. Uh, let's get a little stronger focus. I think that. You guys can check all that out. So, that's one way to do it, okay? And we'll zoom it slowly, zoom it back out here. There, keep you in focus. Yeah, take it back up here so you guys don't get an earthquake. All right, but there you have it. Uh, fairly dry, very good, okay now as you can see it's pretty much dry um you still see your little patterns and whatnot in through this okay now i have a light blue on here i can put another color on this and i think i will just to show off uh the pattern that the blue made okay and have it stick out uh, a wee bit more and i'm going to use I think I'll use a darker brown. Let's see if I got enough in here. <laughs> and what I'm going to make is like a wash. 
Okay, I'll use a little bit of the brown in this. As soon as I open it up here, it's one of these you have I haven't used extensively, so it kind of hardens up and seals a little bit the opening. That's all right. There we go. That'll show me a little bit of love here. We'll see in a second. So I will pour, if there's some in here, to pour. I'm going to have to take the cap off. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, I haven't used this, this color often. Let's see if I got anything in here worth salvaging. Uh, it don't look good. I guess that's heaven. You don't use the paint a lot. Yeah, that looks kind of rough. <coughs> we'll see what we got here. If there's a little bit in there, all I need is a little bit. Oof, that was too much. Big glob of it. But that's okay. Not too much of this stuff left. get my trusty rag here all right what I'm going to do first off is crumble this paper up I don't need anymore that can go in the garbage all right like I, said, I kind of want to glaze I put plenty of it on here but that's way too much for me to here we go. to use I don't want to put it on too forcefully because I don't want none of the uh, background to like disappear. It's going to need some more water. <coughs> As you can see, and once it starts running, okay, all I need is a thing, like it spreads itself out. The pattern is still there, but now you'll see more of it as it dries. So I'm gonna have to let this dry a little bit. I'm spreading it out. See, this is not like watercolor, where you keep playing with it, it'll just, you know, kind of disappear. No, that's not gonna happen, not with this stuff. So once it dries, all right, you'll see the striations and everything that was made by the blue. All right, the blue is still on there, no matter how many times I kind of wipe it still on there all right rubbing alcohol to this too and just let it seep on down in spots and wherever it goes that's where it goes there you can see the difference there okay so once again just like before I have to let it dry. I'm taking a couple drops of black and one toothbrush. Yep, you got it. Splatter here, splatter here, a little splatter there, some more up here, maybe some up there, a little bit. It will leak, it will drip. It will do all of whatever. I'm not going to touch it any other way. It's just going to do what it does. Uh, maybe a couple more up in there. Maybe in the corner a little bit. Right in here. Yeah, let it do whatever. Whatever it's going to do, it's going to do. darkness in the corner here and that's about it I'll let it go as long as this surface is wet any type of fashion it's going to run and it's gonna run downward that's nothing but gravity all right I will let this fully dry and uh right, you'll be guys, moving curious right to see what happens I am not really but here we go just slowly peel it off 
and there we go dots except where the paper bold which is right there and right there paint still a little wet so we have to let that dry um, got a little crease in the paper but that's okay so got a little crease in the paper right about here but that's all right all of this will dry let the heater uh, get to it it'll straighten itself out and whatnot and then you just continue from there what will I do with this who knows but once again, it's got to really set, really dry, and, um, and then that'll be that for this. And then I'll just continue on with the next phase of all of this. So, but basically, that's what you have. So I guess I'll zoom out a little bit. Can I zoom out? There we go. And that's what she looks like so far, even with the crease. Okay. So. Uh, we'll come right back. I gotta get a, out of the habit of looking at that monitor. Maybe I'll place it somewhere else. But um, we'll come back and we'll do a little something with this when it's all finished. Okay. And then, um, you know. Okay, guys. As see you can see, it's fully dry. All right. Um, it's uh, obviously the orientation has changed. I turned it around. I wanted to really mainly let you see how to do these type of uh, paintings, how to get that kind of abstract background. You can always build upon this, add more colors, add splashes, add, do whatever you will with something like that. Okay, I have a bunch of uh, paint that is uh, just sitting here and I need to really do something with it. So. I guess I'll just do a quick little painting here just to um, kind of get rid of all of this stuff. I got this brown and white. I'm going to dip into my shampoo lotion mix, loosen up the paint a little bit. So I guess I'll make some leaves of some sort in various tones of this brown and white. Um, a little different, but it's just something for me to, to do. Cause I got this weight. I don't want to really waste the paint, you know? So with that said, I'll get on to doing a, something. So let's get to doing a little, a little something. So I guess I'll start it right from here. I'll one of these numbers here. And maybe we'll come a little thick one right across here and maybe maybe one going and just abrupt turn like so some light stuff going on in the background nothing really <coughs> too serious let's put maybe a couple of the pretty leaves back here something like that going around here let's make that one a little prettier like that something floating around in the background a little bit uh, you might be able to hear my dog raising a little cane back there uh, some background flowers of sorts uh, let's get this one a little prettier A little darker shade there. Something like that. And we'll put some little doodads here and there. Oh, maybe something dangling out, off here somewhere. Little squiggle leaves here and there. Okay, something like that. Let's get little, some darker brown ones in there mixed with white. Or I can just maybe highlight this one a little bit better. 
Uh, let's go around here because I don't see enough texture in that one. Yeah, we'll cover that up. And yeah, strike that again. Something like that. Uh, something dangling around here. Because I wanted to do the abstract as just an example. No more, no less. Let's put this paint right here. I got some uh, other colors around here. I'm going to just dab into. Get a little bit of my little shampoo. Loosen up some of this paint. A little bit, a little sky blue going on. Um, get some of this white with the sky blue. We'll add, add a little bit of color. Um, mainly it's the same colors that's right here on, on, the, uh, on the palette itself. Get a little more lotion, let it flow. Forgive my head. I'm pretty sure it's in the way. Forgive me. I'm just dipping into this ice blue in the in the white. Just finding some placement. Maybe I'll just keep the bulk of them over here on this side, the blue. Like that. Let's dip into, let's see what else I got that might work here. I guess I got a little bit of green. Let's put some green and white in this. Mixture of green and white. Uh, let's put a couple of those on this side. Come in, uh, maybe in this direction. And thin, thick. Then coming right off the top. Let's get some more of that nice green and white mix. Dip into my little lotion poo, shampoo lotion mix. And let's have a couple of just chilling out, just coming straight down. Have a little curve to it like that. Mm, maybe a little one here, got a little squiggle to it. And have him come curve upward like that. Not too bad. Eh, that's pretty cool. I'm got some darker brown. So let's get some brown, green, and white. Mix all that in there. And we're going to get some uh, other happenings in here. Uh, go around that way. Press, wiggle, come straight, let it go. These leaves are a little bit larger, as you can see. It's okay. Cut right in front of the other ones. Like that. Let's get a little more blue. Just utilizing whatever colors I got left. Put some white in there. Touch of brown. Put plant some more right right around in here, coming downward. Okay, I'm trying to see what other colors I got that's kind of sticking out there a little bit. I kind of want. That line is a little too sloppy-ish. Thin the brush down. Just tighten that guy up a little bit. I'll make the other leaves a little brighter. Flatten the brush a little bit. Let's have these kind of stick out a little better a 
there. Add a little tip to them. Kind of want it to pop out a little more than the others. A little bit of blue, a little bit of white. I'm just mixing it all up here. Let's put some up here. A little trail going and have it come down. So we'll put a batch right here. Overlap the other guys, go in different directions. Put a nice one right here in the center. Have one coming off to the side. Something like so. Okay. I'm gonna have to put a couple of fire brands in there too. Okay. And we're gonna um really liven up one corner. Put it to a nice point. We're gonna slap some white in there too. Let's have it go jut right out from here. Like that. Let's put one coming up out here. And coming up and around and down. Curve it right on around. See, you just wanna wake it up a little. Let's Put one right in there like that. Put another one in there. Wiggle it. Put little stems in there. Uh, let's plop one right here. Getting some more. I'm just patting that color in there, mixing it in with the white. Uh, let's put a let's put some right in here. All right. Different directions. Have them overlap. Adds a little interest to your painting. Like so. Just something to throw around it. Uh, let's separate those a little bit better. Have it go right in there. This one too. Strong wiggle. And have that travel in there a little bit. Same thing with this guy. travel up in there all right that'd be that should be about enough now if the paint's a little thick a little runny it's all right just dry off the brush and just pick up the excess paint because it's gonna start to i got this kind of vertical so it's gonna there lift some of that up out of there right it might run on you let's pick those up a little bit some kind of pattern of sorts uh, and we're gonna have it come right up around in here something like that okay okay I'm taking some red and dip it right in here Come right out. Mixing it in with the blue itself, so it takes a turns it a nice deep violet. That's what you're looking at right now. It mixes right in with the paint that's kind of tacky and wet, and that's what you're looking at. Take that same mix. I'm gonna go down here a little bit. Almost like a little smile it gets wider here, it gets narrow. And we're gonna feather that out a little. Now I want that a little darker, so I'm putting some blue in there. So mix it in with that red. And on top of that blue, I'll mix in some more red. It gives it a deep maroonish look. As you can see, I'm mixing it right on the flower itself okay so I'll keep it like so all right now I got plenty of blue and red going on there so take some uh this liquid yellow let's 
craft paint yellow. I'll put over here where the white would be. There. And we're going to take that. I'm not washing off the brush. Okay. And I'm going to make a nice green with it. I'll put it right in here somewhere. Yeah, I think it should be a nice deep enough green. Let's get some leaves going. Let's get some leaves going right about in here. And let's make these leaves a little more precise. I'm just dipping in my shampoo, loosen up that paint. Nice size leaves here. And we're going to just keep playing around. Um, let's get a little hot spot somewhere. Like, oh. We'll put some around in here. And we'll have it come, some come downward. So we got just a batch of leaves all over the place. And we'll just continue it on. Cut in front of some of your leaves, like so. Have it come on down. Have it disappear somewhere in front of the other ones. Let's have some going in the other direction, coming off the page here, like so. Just like that. <coughs> so we got them, got them going all over the place. Maybe we'll have a batch coming in the other direction, coming down like, like so. One other one coming down here have them trailing off right off that right off that page there some coming up around in here and just have them all different directions and all different types okay just have fun with it that's basically what I'm doing just have a little have a little fun Now that I've done that, let's get some baby's breath going around, going on. So I'm dipping in a nice dry brush, dipping right into the white, which has got a mixture of all sorts of stuff going on in there. We'll put some baby's breath in there. Like, let's put maybe just to contrast everything, let's put some right in there like that. Then we'll probably put some up in here. And we'll put some right around in here. So we got a little baby's breath happening. Just tapping the brush. Something like that. Some, you know, all down there. All right. So I'm going to rinse off this brush real quick. Rinsing off my round brush, and I'm gonna make some uh, stems for these guys. So I'm just mixing a little white with the yellow and the blue, lighten up the yellow and the blue a little bit, giving lighter green. Dip into my little lotion mix here. Let's make this a little more liquid, um, a little a little heavier than ink. 
get my little tip to a point and we're gonna put little stems going in places here for the baby's breath oh let's have some coming all around in here piece of one there they just come on around making it disappear put some down in here some up in here have it trilling down have some cross in front of the other ones like that okay much like so all right Let's highlight some of these petals here. Still got some blue. A little bit of white. We're looking to salvage of it. Dipping into my, my medium. A touch of yellow. A little more white. Brighten it up a little bit. Okay, let's get some highlights going on some of these petals here. Press, slide, gently feather. Like so. I'm going to do the same thing on this one over here. Need more medium. There we go. And we're going to do another one here. All right. I might brighten that up a little bit. Okay, get a little red, a little yellow, a little blue. Let's get a nice dark side going. And as I'm making the dark color, dip much more into my medium, loosen up this paint. Like so. feather that in I get a little darker get a little darker should get some shadows in here I'm putting some shadows in what when you uh, cuz of the petals on the on the rolls here it all makes sense to you okay Rinsing off the brush. <coughs> Getting a little bit of white. Dip into the blue. Get my first underlying color down here. I'm going to work with the petals real quick. I'm going to work with the outside guys first. little flick of the brush various directions uh, let's go with a few more not like that though and we're gonna do a couple here I'm going to lighten up that blue just a little bit. 
have a couple of these guys almost in a, a teardrop fashion right up around here a little bit dipping into a little bit of white in the blue I'm gonna highlight a few of these guys while I can Getting some blue, dark blue. And we're gonna angle some of these guys in here. Like that. Put a couple in between some of these fellows in here. Did you need variances of, of shade, light, and such? Okay. And you highlight a couple of them. like that see how quickly that was done all right let's go a little darker still got white mixed in there but we're gonna darken those up a little bit for some of these guys in here i'm gonna give a quick push quick push drag push drag like that maybe a piece of a highlight in there in there so it's a little bit of white in the blue. Sometimes it's just a little push and, and fade it out. A little push, fade it out. A little push, like that. All right, got a little bit of white down in here, so I'm gonna borrow some of that up here. Now I'm dipping into my blue, mainly on one side of the brush here. And we're gonna start with a petal right around in here and have it disappear let's have a nice one right here and maybe come to a point and it goes inward like that and maybe a nice dark one underneath like that have it come out like so you can make this thing grow and grow and grow and grow as much as you would like all right I'm gonna clean off my brush because I want a transition to be a little smoother in this area here I want it feathered a little better so I'm using nothing but pure dark blue I'm going in from the dark and I'm gonna feather it outward because I want a gentler fade like that See, it's the feather work. Okay. Use my finger, fade it out a little bit. Like that. Okay. And that's what I'm looking for. And I can darken up a few things in here. You got some deep shadows in there. It pops out the other florals. All right. So you can have some set back a little bit. Like I want maybe this one shaded in a little more than others. Put some fade in some deeper pockets somewhere. So I'm just checking things out. Now let's get a little bit of, with this blue, a little bit of stark white in there so I can Put some cute little highlights in some of these leaves in there. All of it adds a little bit of character to what you got. Just a little bit here and there. They don't have to be everywhere. Okay. That's pretty much, uh, almost pretty much about it, really. So that wasn't too bad. 
something quick. I'm taking my brush here and I'm going to uh, step more into this white. This white got a little brown in it and that's fine. And I'm going to make some of these a little larger. And I'll dip a little bit of blue in it. Just in spots. Get some more white. Tap it strongly. Cross some of the stems a little bit. Highlight some of these guys up in the top there. Okay. Put right in front of the leaves there. Right that. See that? Open it right up there. Make them kind of large. I'm um, dipping a little bit of blue shades in here, here and there. All right. Add a little body to these guys. Make some of those stems disappear a little bit. Make them a little obscure. All right. Something like so. If I wanted to, I could slap a, a butt or two in there, but this won't need it. All right, I think that's about that's about enough for right now. So let me take my little marker, sign my name on this. Once again, thank you very much. Let me uh, zoom this camera out a little bit. And you guys can... Uh, there you go. Actually, I'm looking at the monitor here, so you guys can... Uh, I guess I'll put me in focus a little bit better. Both of us. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot for uh, checking this out. All right. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Okay. If I don't tear the tape up, maybe I'll use it for another project. Or maybe not. I think it looks a little raggedy. We'll see in a second. Let me know what you're thinking, how you're feeling. What you would like to see. Done. You can join me live every Wednesday on my uh, Facebook arts page. All right. All you got to do is type in my name on Facebook. And I should pop up there. I will usually have a dark border on this, but I don't think this needs it. I am going to add one final thing to this. I didn't think of it, but I might as well. If I got enough yellow. I should have enough yellow. That should be enough. And let's put some. I always got to put one of these in there. And we're going to highlight a batch pretty thick on one side. Like that. There, that looks better now. Now I can sleep easy. Something pretty quick, not, not too cumbersome, something fast. Like I said, I really wanted to show you how to do the background and everything, okay? Um, yeah, my eyes keep going up at that monitor. Anyway, leave a comment below. If you like, subscribe if you're interested. There'll be more, a lot more slow down and everything. And, um, I can't wait to hear your responses if there be any good, bad, or indifferent. I like to hear them anyway. Um, tune in once again. I'll pop up another video or I'll do one of those talking color segments or something. Um, but until then, God bless. Happy painting. Um, if you'd like to try something like this, uh, I would love to see it. You can post it right on my, uh, my home Facebook page, okay? Um, my name should have already flashed down here anyway. 
But you guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.